I am Heather. I am George, and this is our DIY schoolie paint project. My first one yet. Yep, watch how we do it. Check it out. All right, so the guys are almost done prepping the bus for paint. So I'm going to start mixing up our tractor supply paint. We're going with a gloss white on this bus. And I think it'll look pretty good once we're all done. I'm going to use a HVLP sprayer to uh, apply it. We use that to um, put the, the primer on the, uh, the new sheet metal that we added. This is our paint that we're using. Gloss white, tractor supply. You need to add one pint of reducer per gallon so you are able to spray it because this stuff, as it is, you can brush or roll it on. But I don't want any brush marks or roller marks or anything like that, so I'm trying to make it as smooth as possible. So I'm going to mix the gallons into here with two pints of our reducer, and I'm going to start spraying some paint. So when I'm mixing my reducer, instead of dumping it into here, I'm putting it into the gallon after I empty it into there. That way I get the most yield out of my gallons. So I'll put the lid back on it and give it a shake, and then I'll dump it back into the bucket. And I'll do the same thing with this gallon. And then once I pour it into my uh, spray gun, I use one of these paper filters. Sit it there, pour it in, and I catch any particulates, dirt, anything that's going to mess up the gun, cause me setbacks and a bad paint job. So that was fun. The bus is painted. A couple of tips. Uh, I would say wear a full Tyvek suit. I have lots of paint all in my hair. That's going to be fun. All of my legs. Uh, I made a little bit of a disaster. Knocked the paint over. Oh, this is. It's been a fun day. So let me. Let me show you how the bus turned out. Came out pretty, pretty good, I think. We made sure we we taped off all the wheels, toolboxes, anything we didn't want paint on. Make sure you have tape, paper, plastic. Make sure it's covered. So we'll probably end up doing a uh, maybe a wet sand or at least a scuff up with a scotch bright pad in between coats. So we'll do one more coat on this. And uh, another tip is make sure you have a good respirator. Good set of, uh, not safety glasses, but like goggles that seal up because you see I have paint everywhere. It gets everywhere. Doesn't matter how careful you are, it gets everywhere. Uh, so, paint. Alright guys, so the bus is painted. We got our first coat on. Uh, we got some bugs in it, but that's okay because we have to scuff up in between coats. And um, another tip for, this is the first vehicle I've ever painted. So, when you go to paint, when you're when you're filling your paint sprayer, you want to have some of these. They're cone filters, strainers. I had three of them. I thought I was going to be good, but they get gunked up. They get plugged up, and I ended up getting some chunks in the paint towards the end. So make sure you have plenty of those on hand, so you don't have that problem as well. Um, so I made sure I bought, I got like 12 of them right now for uh, the final coat. Oh, and I also bought, this is a elastic top strainer for one gallon buckets. So when I pour the paint 
into the five gallon bucket. I'll pour it through this first so it'll basically get double filtered before you spray it. So uh, another thing was in my paint sprayer down in the bottom of the reservoir where the paint goes, there's supposed to be a little a little filter and I realized mine was missing and I can't find it. So I'll probably end up buying a new gun for the final coat just to make sure everything is looking awesome and as good as we can get it basically. But pretty happy with it. Let us know what you think.